What's going on, Cancer Placements? Welcome to your Enigma reading from May 2021. If you're new here, I go by Empress Gem. I drop the jewels, guys. General message. Tickles for you. Leave the rest behind. In any event, equal energy exchange. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get some new energies up in here. We get more messages. I drop more videos, right? But, um, yeah, let's get into it, Cancer. I got, so I've been getting, like, messages, like, so pretty much the Enigma reading is, it's about hidden stuff, things that, you know, it's, like, scratching at the surface that you, that you may not be aware of, um, kind of like the shadows reading, yes and no, because these are kind of, like, things that kind of make you tick, or it's, like, um, if you wondered, if you ever wondered and you push something to the side and you was kind of, like, nah, maybe not, or, like, you know, you just feel like something might be off, but you're, like, eh, maybe not, like, this is about to let you know you know, what the hell going on, okay, so, what I got for you guys is Wade in the Water, okay, and then it, it went to, like, Water Barrier, and I seen the Aquarius, so, but then sure enough, in a pre-shuffle in this deck, the Fool is air energy, so Aquarius showed up, so, um, yeah, somebody may be pregnant, okay, you're gonna find out you're pregnant, Okay, um, because when it goes back to that weight in the water, it's like you need to lay low about this or whatever. Um, yeah, if you're pregnant, you could have conceived in Aquarius season or you could be like pregnant now. and You're about to have a Aquarius baby next year. Congratulations. You may not know it yet. Um, but if you've been wondering or feeling like it did it. Yeah, it did. Um, some of you guys could also be messing with a younger Aquarius. Okay. Um, there's somebody, I didn't want to say black magic, but yeah, it's right here. Ooh, with the soul card, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that, but your ancestors are here to fight. That's okay. Your ancestors are here to fight because bees are known to bite. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's somebody who's out here casting some black magic because I was feeling a very angry energy around you guys, like an angry charging energy, like something coming at you guys quick or trying to come at you quick. Like I saw like raging eyes too, like really angry, not, not like those green envious ones. Like one of my favorite movies is ATL and it's like every time they show his ex-girlfriend, she always was like green with envy and they always put like a green envy bar across her eyes to show she was envious. But this was like red raging, like bulging eyes, like. And just feeling like the force of this energy, like coming towards you, like really wanting to come towards you, come at you. But it's like um, whatever somebody's trying to do, and I related it towards sabotaging, like literally somebody's trying to sabotage you, it won't work. Okay. And that's why, you know, it shows the hive, you know, somebody is really trying to go after your soul. And I feel like your mind and your body, but like trying to like get through your soul or trying to like, become you or like still who you are so that you feel like you're nobody and they try to embody you crazy shit but um for some of you guys also i don't know what it means but it said go right so i don't know if maybe if you end up in a situation where you need to detour and you have to go left or right and you can't go straight go right i feel like it might save you time um if you need to make a decision i also saw like somebody writing down like two options and then like balled it up and then like just like tossed it around and then just like picked it up and then if you like whatever was in your right hand just go with the one that you end up with in your right okay so yeah okay we got a lot out for you guys let's get into it you guys could be dealing with a scorpio here we got magician energy with gemini and virgo yeah heavy scorpio energy here like i said some of you guys could definitely be having a baby um with that new start the new moon you could be finding out um this week uh, yeah, you guys should be seeing these videos appropriately. So, um, yeah. Um, but somebody is not happy about your happiness. Somebody is very upset. Could, <clears throat> could be a Scorpio who feels this way. I feel like they could feel very left out watching you move forward here. Um, I feel like this person feels that it's impossible to get towards you now. Like, the bridge is still there, but it's just a long way to go. Like, you are on two different planets or two different sides of town, two different backgrounds, even. I'm seeing for some people here. Yeah, I'll look at that, that Scorpio energy again, very much so. I feel like this person felt like they were, like, making you happy or could have been making you happy, okay? Um, yeah, still heavy on the water, Scorpio-type feels. Um, not so much Cancer, that's you too. But I also feel like with you, you just, like, saying, like, nah, I'm not dealing with it no more. You know, I feel like you, yeah, I was about to say that. You took your power back, like, your spark. Uh, Aries energy, Leo energy here. So, 
also could be dealing with one, but I just really feel like that's the energy that you embodied, you know, because it was a lot of cups. That was a lot of water. And it's like, you know, somebody could have just seen you as soft or whatever. Or again, waiting in the water, needing to lay low. Okay. But anyway, somebody could have just seen that you were soft. And it was like, nah, you had to show them like you you don't play. Like you don't play. You serious. You got you set boundaries. You enforce laws. You make moves. Okay, you're a boss. Okay, you still got that boss energy within you. Like you're no pushover. Okay. All right, spirit. Let's get three cards out here for our cancer. Let's talk about this stuff. Yeah, there we go. That Aries energy with that emperor falling straight out first. Yeah, you defeated them. The people caught up, like they, that's what I'm saying with that lay low energy. A lot of people don't know what's going on with you. Yeah, they, I'm telling you, somebody really did try to do you over, try to screw you over. Okay, um, very, that's that angry energy. That's what I'm talking about here. Somebody looking at you mad as hell because, and you just like resting bitch face. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I really don't care. Like, I know about what I got going on. You're mad you can't see. You're mad you can't tear me down. Yeah, like I said, somebody want to come in quick. Could be a Sagittarius energy here. We got Scorpio again and um, Aries. Okay, could be an Aries. But I just feel like there's no contest. There's no contest. There's not. You're ending. You're like you're you're dead in that off. Like there's none. Like you're cut from a different cloth. Like you're not even with them. Like you your own. This was you right here. Like you ain't you don't gotta share. You get what I'm saying? Like you ain't have to share, or you don't have to give this knowledge. Like this person is only destructing themselves because they're trying to. I feel like people trying to copy you too. Like trying to copy you, and they can't. That's what. Like they're trying to eat off of your plate. For some of you guys. Yeah, because you got good fortune right now. Good fortune is coming towards you. And like I said, 210, somebody want to see that end. They know about your new beginning. There's somebody who knows about your new beginning and they want to end it. Could be a uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, more heavy so, okay? Let's see. Let's get some enigma on this. Oh, that emperor came out quick. Yeah, this stuff is coming up, like, pretty damn fast, okay? Last quarter energy, all right? This is probably even energy that you're in right now, okay? Yeah, new life, like I said, some of you guys could be finding out you're pregnant this emperor could as well as be, be an empress here, so Libra Taurus energy. But again, a mother or a father-like figure, congratulations, as I said, with this tree of life, something growing and coming in here. Yeah, somebody really invested here and did the hanky paint with the bullfalls from late to late. But yeah, with that water energy here, you know, that's that mother, okay, that nurturing energy here. Six drops of water, six of cups type energy here, okay? Children, happy happiness okay and that's that's just what i'm feeling okay that's just what it is okay um but yeah great changes here because there's 14 drops here um breaking down to a five there's changes in your foundation and your home life here okay you're starting to grow and expand even for some of you guys your vision became very clear on what it is that you wanted to do you begin to follow your intuition stop running yourself in circles okay became real solid and grounded in your foundation here okay and bossed up on the folks and people are mad a lot of you guys know that you still need to protect and lay low when it comes to your vision here okay like i said could be dealing with a scorpio also could be you this is you can't and your element and your energy let me also confirm that you are indeed that emperor there that everybody is watching and that they love to hate and that they're trying to replicate okay mixtape dropping in summer no i'm kidding <laughs> but um yeah we got 35 breaking down to an eight and a 25 breaking down to a seven okay like you it's like you were able to foresee like you Okay, yes, that's what I'm saying, because somebody can foresee. Somebody also knows. I don't know if, like, somebody knows your birth chart or, like, if some somebody's getting readings on you or what, but somebody can see your fortune here, okay? Will of fortune energy. There's that Aquarius, okay? Aquarius, all right? Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. But it's like somebody can see, okay, already what you got coming in, and they're upset. What's the enigma on the tower, please? The enigma on the tower. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, some oh somebody. Yeah, what did I say? Somebody went at the top of like when's the first quarter? First quarter is right before the full moon. Okay. Somebody made some sort of decision here. 47 breaking down to an eleven and a two here. Somebody went and like I said, with that vision energy there. 
they couldn't help themselves. And I'm seeing with that teardrop, like somebody saw what was coming in for you and it broke them down. Could be a fire sign, could be a water sign here. All right. But I feel like it, it really drove them insane. It drove them crazy to know what you had coming into you. They want to go get this information here. OK, they sought this out. OK, somebody is mad that you up and is stuck. Yes. When you look at these cards, the first quarter energy there is like they know that you're up and it's like you're going up and it's stuck. Look at that. <laughs> you from a whole different earthy. They can't fuck with you. Like for real. Somebody went to visit an oracle, got a tarot reader on you, went to go get the highest knowledge they possibly could to figure out what was going on in your life. Yeah, they went to the power source. They went. They 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 begged. They wanted to know. And they got the answers. And it broke them down. It broke them down. Six, seven, eight. Somebody is breaking down. This is breaking somebody down. To see this happening for you. There's a new star. This is crazy. It's juicy. What's, thank you. Yeah, your hard work. This tree is your hard work. You coming out your comfort zone doing what it is that you want to do. Your north node energy. Living in your right power. So some of you guys could have north node in Aries. Okay. Or in Capricorn. The water energy, even though I know that's you. This is you. This is your hard work. This is what you're doing. Yeah, confidence is the key to success. You know, that Leo energy. When I seen that Queen of Wands, like you were confident. You began to love and nurture yourself, started to take care of yourself. That water barrier, there's that Aquarius energy. Again, like I said, some of you guys are having a baby. It's, you either conceived in Aquarius season or you're having a baby and it's going to be born in Aquarius season. You don't know it yet. You don't see this coming. You're, you don't see this yet. Okay, with well, this vision, but then, you know, you guys got these haters. Y'all got people who are really just watching. Like, I'm going to put a moon on that destruction because I want to know. I like to put an enigma on it, but it's obvious. These are the angry people. These are the angry birds. It's the angry birds. We're talking about it. Yeah, these are the people who need to let it go. Surrender to the divine. Yeah, Communication, like I said, in Gemini, new moon in Gemini. This could be a Gemini, okay? Emotions run high. They could be getting the information from a Gemini, okay? Their emotions run high. Super moon, I'm thinking of that pink moon, what we just had in that full moon. They could have got some information that they just did not like. Somebody got some information that they did not like. You know, Mercury is back in Gemini now. We're getting ready for retrograde. That could even be it. You know, look that up when the first quarter will be around retrograde. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Again, somebody could be finding out they're pregnant. This could be what somebody already knows about you. Um, somebody could be making this announcement. Either way, it's a good look. Okay. Even if people do find out, because like I said, if somebody is praying on your downfall or whatever, or, you know, that you're not successful in whatever this is, whether this is a new business venture or a child or a relationship, um, a job, whatever. It's a win-win for you. It's justified. They can't take this from you. Like, this is all newness for you, okay? And everything was illuminated with that full moon. Somebody, oh, let's get a moon, please, on this destruction. Because I just want to know. Please. You know, what the fuck? Will of Fortune with the Hierophant. And the devil. Stop it. Stop. And the magician, stop it because of your happiness, your joy, the lovers, the love you have. You know what? Can't see. I got some shit. And y'all probably acting like, look, just keep your head down. Whatever you're doing is working. I will say that it is working what you're doing. Yeah. Be bold and make the first move. Let them know that you see them lurking and that you see them stalking. Matter of fact, it's like laying low, laying low. They can't move till you move. That's what I heard. They can't move till you move. Yes, Cancer, okay? A personal issue reaches the resolution. Full moon and Cancer. This is you. This is you right here. They can't move till you move. Okay, cardinal moon. Ain't you a cardinal? You're a cardinal sign. Yes, you are. You, Aries. Give them to me. Capricorn and Libra. Okay? Justice. <laughs> But they can't move until you move. They don't know what to do 
until they see what you do because you are the great fortune. I'm tempted to say that you're like the gift. You're the blueprint. You're the water bearer. Let's get some closing messages. Two cards here. Closing messages. Yeah, walk away. Don't even deal with this. Detach. Because like I said, they can't do anything without you. These are just busy bees, like busy bodies. They have nothing better to do other than to be obsessed and stressed out over what's going on with you. This is they're like sitting ducks. This shit crazy. They cannot move until you move. They don't know how they're codependent. They don't know how to operate. You feed them. You feed them. You feed them. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You feed you feed them. Those are your sons. Oh, and if you are pregnant, ah, I'm feeling like a 95% chance it's a boy. Congratulations as we flipped. Okay. Confirmation. Uh not yeah, nine of pentacles, gangs, okay. Some of y'all even getting thick, right? <laughs> yeah, what I say, you feed them, okay? That's what it is. But you moving on and you're doing this quickly. It's like, but they can't move until you move. You lead the pack here, okay? Your advice here is to just keep doing what you're doing. You're independent and successful as fuck. I mean, imitation is a form of flattery. Ain't that what they say? I mean, some people don't like it, but I mean, these are your sons. They need your knowledge right now. You don't have to tell them everything. You can still lay low. That's where that lay low come in. You don't have to tell them everything. But I mean, shit, it's like these people need something for the blueprint. So, I mean, give them something. Give them something, Cancer. Right? Yeah, you're a moth. Like a moth to the flame, baby. Like you the flame. That, that's exactly what that look like. You the flame. They come to moth, okay? They come to learn. They got to they gotta pull from you. I don't know how you feel about that. You could lay low and starve them because and still... Because this is a lazy looking motherfucker right here. Because I feel like this is definitely you all day, Cancer. They lazy as hell, needing somebody to feed them. Codependent ass energy, okay? You can starve this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? Divine timing. You can starve this motherfucker. You ain't got to feed them shit. <laughs> yes. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay? You don't have to, yeah, stop right there. You don't even have to talk to these folks. You don't have to say nothing. If you notice, there's two people, they talking to whatever, talk to the hand. Skirt, Jamie Foxx, whoever. Divine time is at play here, okay? Like I said, you can keep your head down and keep doing exactly what you're doing. It's not going to stop your blessing. It's not going to stop what it is that you're doing. They cannot sabotage or end what you have. Anything that they're trying to do, all that is coming to a complete halt. This divination hand in the middle of the belt is stopping this. It's stopping any freaking ring the alarm. Somebody feel like they've been through it so long. Okay. Virgo energy, Beyonce. Yes, let's get it. Okay. We doing it. We, we pulling it out for y'all. Okay. Somebody's been waiting, but you're protected. I feel like that's nine wands. Like with these fire, with these flames, that's nine wands right there. You're protected. Somebody tried to cast illusions and shit over you. Try to make you feel some kind of way. They didn't realize you had options. They didn't realize you were different. Because if you realize that's five fingers in this one, and this is six, this is different. Can't touch this. It's not the same. We are not the same. Somebody really tried to, like, steal you or, like, sabotage you. Like, they want to ruin you. Like, this is crazy shit. It's crazy. But, again, it's only because they can't, they can't, they can't be like you. So they want to try to take you down. This person tried to replicate you. They tried to be like you, but you're different. The angels are here, okay? Again, with the divine time and showing up. They can, what I say, in a soul, because they want your soul. You know that already. We done, we done got into that. Look, this reading will keep going. It will keep going. My bad. Put these back. You're right. You're right. They got the bell. You will hear the sirens. You will hear the alarm. The message will be very clear. This person will show their face very clearly. Okay, could be a Virgo. Shit, I started singing that song. Could be an Aquarius. Okay, someone younger or young-minded. All right. Let's see. Final message out the Moonology. Could be a Sagittarius, but either way, luck is on your side in a situation. A fiery climax approach. That Aries energy, that Emperor energy in the beginning. You're ready. I ain't even worried about y'all. You ready. You ready, you ready, you ready. Hell yeah. Sagittarius out here like that. But yep, that has been y'all message. Cancer. If you need to book a personal, all that information is listed below. You know I'm here for it. Till the next time we speak. Peace out.